you know, somebody was just saying how Mary was somebody girl, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, no, what? No, it was my girl. It was my girl, you know right? I mean? And I was kind of just talking too fast and you know, <laughs> putting my chest out. out. I didn't mean to say I got fucking. You know, I didn't mean to say it like that, but I did. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You think when you were early on, you was messing with Mary? Well, okay, you, know, you were, how did you think about you know, that? At that time, I wasn't. You know, I mean, you know, I kind of was, but it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. How did you think? <laughs> like, what did you feel like? Okay, yeah, I like Mary, or you just was like, was she taking advantage of you? Because you were young. No, nah, I mean, you know, that was Mary J. Blige. she was young, too. She was young, too, and that was Mary J. Blige. And when I brought that story up, because a lot of people thought that I was, like, trying to me too. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't use her. <laughs> I got somebody I could meet too if I want to, <laughs> but it, it wouldn't be Mary. It you wouldn't know, be I, Mary. I, you know, I said it in the conversation of, you know, somebody was just saying how Mary was somebody girl, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, no, it wasn't. That was my girl. It was my girl, you know right? I mean? And I was kind of just talking too fast, and you know, <laughs> my chest out. Out. I didn't mean to say I got fucking. You know, I didn't mean to say it like that, but I did. I mean, you know, um, you know, nothing I said in my book. You know, I'm waiting for whatever I said in my book for the people that I said it about. I'm waiting for them to come back and be like, he's lying. No, uh, you hadn't heard that, but did Oh, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> what about KC? Like, you got kicked off the tour. tour yeah. Was that I concerning? Got kicked, I, I got kicked out of life. <laughs> was that concerning the fact that you was, you know, doing things? I, I think You I, was making moves around there? Well, uh, that between that two, I think after... after uh, it became so big, you know, on the tour bus where everybody, you know, would joke. You know, they'd be, man, I just read the book last week. Oh, damn. You know, Casey sitting there with his fiance, and, you know, he laughing. <laughs> but he really crying and shit in the inside. Um, And I'm out with him, and I kind of noticed the ag aggression and, you know, how, how he became, you know, it went from, like, we brothers to, you know, when he would say things to us, I'm your boss. Mm. Oh, it didn't change. Nigga, is you crazy? You know my mm. fucking boss? <laughs> fuck you mean I'm singing backgrounds and I'm doing a gig this is work for hire boss mean that when I'm not singing for your ass you paying me unemployment or right. I can still depend on you damn and I can't I couldn't you know I, I looked at them as friends mm -hmm. and uh, you know after a while I was fired you was actually singing for Jojo right yeah cause he what? I mean you know I, I you know Jojo's my boy so I you know there's, there's not much that I would I would say, but Jojo and Casey know know what myself and shout out to my boy Showtime at there was times that we sung for Casey and Jojo. Okay, okay. And you know, when they when they wasn't well, we made sure that we had their back. We protected them at all cost. Yeah. Uh, and looked out for them because we love them. And when they got better or they appeared to be better, you know, they became the old Jodeci. And wow. you know, the old Jodeci had always been assholes and rock stars and not nice to other people. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that's who they became again. You see the trueness in a person when they hit their pinnacle. No, right? man. When them niggas was drunk and couldn't walk. Yeah, they started telling they needed the truth. just shoulder. But yeah. when, when, when they got sober, you know what I'm saying, and work and shows came in, you know what I mean? Um, I, I got fired, Showtime got fired, and it was at a time that, you know what I mean, it mattered to me yeah. because I had bills. You know what I mean? So at times they, they blessed me to feed me. And it, uh, during that time, I, I was kind of left, you know, on the curb. Wow. But so why, I'm not happy with those guys at all. At all. No. But why does a lot of that um, fame and fortune come with all of that cockiness and all of that? You know, a bunch of bums that never had nothing. I hate to call it like that. But when you never had nothing, you know what I mean? Or never been around anything. That's the only thing that I could, I could blame it on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because... I, I, I tell people all the time. I, I, I've been a lot of places. I've I've seen a lot of money. I've, I've I've been on private jets. The difference between the jet that you're on now is the jet was probably made in '92, mm -hmm. and I flew mm -hmm. it in '95. Mm -hmm. And you might still be flying on that same damn jet. They got jets that's out there 30 years old still in the air. So yeah, uh, it's nothing new. And even when you were talking about Mary J, because when I heard the story and stuff like that, and for some reason I even looked, uh, I was on TMZ and I seen where another young lady talked about she um, had sex with Michael B. Jordan and so what. I'm like, is it becoming such a thing? Because me growing up, it was like, you don't talk about certain things. You don't put that out there. Yeah. But it's now it's like everybody's, oh, I slept with this person. I slept with that, whether it was a man or woman saying it. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, it's just, everybody's just putting it out there. Like, why? 
Well, you know, uh, again, you know, for me saying it, especially at the point of where I was in my life, you know what I mean? A lot of people knew that, you know, that after the demise of Death Row, you know, I was, I was struggling and yes. you know, singing backgrounds and things like that. You know, at that point, that was my, uh, that's my trophy. Out. That's to, my trophy. That's right. my, you know what I mean? Talking about, you know, I wish Instagram were. Uh, was social around media. at that time. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't You'd be able to viral. mess with my followers. <laughs> no, at all. My followers would be up there. Crazy. The stuff that I've seen and done. So, you know, when I shared that moment, it was out of sharing some things out of the book. Yeah. Just I, to push it. Yeah, I yeah, want absolutely. To not just to push it, just to, you know, I don't, I, I don't tell people to tell all us to share on. Man. Mm. I'm proud of it, man. Everybody know who Mary J. Blige <laughs> is. You, you talk about when they, after the death row thing, but you went up to New York and yeah. you end up dealing with, I guess, Timberland and all of these. Yeah, I went up there with uh, D Devontae. Devontae. And you basically were a bigger star at that time, right? Being that you just left Death Row or just this big. Well, you I were was, in the room. Well, we were still with Death Row. I was still with Death Row and Death Row was kind of like really going up and Genuine album hadn't came out. So I met Genuine and Timberland and Magoo and Missy. Yeah. And Missy was with the group sister and. You know, she wasn't. You know, all of the acclimates that they have now. Now they didn't. They didn't have. So how did you? How did you guys interact? Was it? Was it cool? Uh, I remember it being cool. I was there to work with with Devonte, and okay. uh, the, the person that I really connected with the most was Genuine. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's my homie. That's my brother. Genuine you know, been falling off the stage and doing a lot of crazy stuff yeah, lately. Yeah. This thing is crazy a meme, single. a walking yeah. meme, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but yes. so, so basically, the, when they took off like they did, and you still, you know, your 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 career was kind of, you know, it wasn't like oh, no. Theirs. When they took, oh hell no. When they so took off, man, I was that, back in Chicago. How did that? When you seen it, you were like, man, you know, uh, genuine had tanks and backgrounds on. My first single, Slip and Slide. Yeah, Slip and Slide hard. Thank you. And, Man, um, y'all did know, that out the know, country too. Yeah. And and to, to that video. To yeah, to see to see everybody kind of walk in something that I felt was rightfully mine, so to say. Yeah. You know, it wasn't a jealous thing, but there, there was times that I was like, "Man, I wish," you know, "I wish I didn't," you know, "have this this short end of a stick." But I don't call it short and stick because y'all was spending some money at Death Row. Oh no, I'm talking about now. I'm, ta I'm talking, I guess, after Death Row. Yeah, you talking after? Oh, but during that time, like <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, I don't complain or I, I would would never um, n not talk about or forget what Death Row or what shouldn't I done for me. Man, did, did you ever run into like Timberland them after all those years, or you never seen them again? Uh, every now and then. I may have seen Timberland and Missy like once or twice, but nobody after everybody make it, you know, they all go into a state of, I don't remember you. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, games. even after they, you know, you can run into them now. And, you know, and I'm not saying like, I'm so grateful, like, I ain't mad at you is, you know, 26, 27 years old and people still right. remember. Wow, what? Stop you know, playing. But, you know, you can walk to front one of these people and they'll be like, no, there's Danny, what he used to sing. And they'll be like, they'll be confused. And it's like playing games. You know, so I, I just stay out the way of Hollywood. Don't you think that's God shielding you? Yes. <laughs> and shielding them. And shielding them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because I don't, I don't want to, you know, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm, made, I'm made for this, but I'm not made for Hollywood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.